The overall goal of this procedure is to measure the visual acuity in adult zebrafish using the optokinetic response, or OKR. This is accomplished by first building the OKR device that consists of a rotating drum and data capturing apparatus. Next, the fish is immobilized within the device and an OKR is elicited. Then, the binocular and monocular spatial acuity thresholds are determined using different sized gratings and a modified staircase approach. Finally, the visual acuity is calculated for the fish. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show visual acuity changes within a population of fish as they age or in diseased treated fish through the optokinetic response. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods such as the optomotor response or OMR is that measuring the visual acuity using the OKR is more clinically relevant and reliable. Optokinetic studies are carried out with a custom-built recording device using a 14.5 cm diameter rotating drum, a stereo microscope with adjustable light intensity settings, a computer, and a camera for capturing images and recording. A computer-operated microcontroller is used to adjust the rotating drum's speed and spinning directions. Using fish that are maintained under standard conditions, Begin an analysis by anesthetizing a fish in 0.016% tricane for 2-3 minutes and then placing it on a small platform with the eyes and gills suspended over the edge. To keep the fish immobilized while avoiding injury, place a thin sponge or towel over the body of the fish and pin 2-3 to three pieces of foam over the fish, ensuring that tail movement is limited. Position the fish within a cylindrical water-filled tank that fits inside the rotating drum of the OKR recording device. Use magnets on the platform to position the fish upright with the eyes approximately 7.3 cm from the edge of the drum. Once the fish revives from anesthesia and normal breathing and random eye movements are observed, place a base grating of 0.07 cycles per degree, or CPD, into the rotating drum and engage the computer controls to begin rotation and video capture. After an initial OKR is elicited by the base grating, pause the rotation briefly and replace the grating with a smaller grating with a higher spatial frequency. Repeat this process with sequentially smaller gratings until an OKR can no longer be elicited. To verify the loss of OKR, following a modified staircase approach, retest with the smallest grating that caused an OKR, and then with the grating that failed to elicit a response to verify the loss of the OKR. To obtain monocular acuity measurements, place a black plastic occluder over the stripes adjacent to the opposite eye and repeat the data collection process. Then switch to the other eye by repositioning the occluder and taking measurements. Use the reference measuring strip beneath the fish tank to take note of the distance of each eye from the strip for making accurate acuity measurements. To determine visual acuity, calculate CPD using the following formula, where A is the distance from the center of the lens to the grating, and H is the length of one cycle of the smallest grating at which OKR was observed. For combined visual acuity measurements, use an average A value calculated from both the left and right eye. The procedure demonstrated in this video can determine visual acuities for zebrafish of many ages. The best binocular spatial acuity recorded was 0.74 CPD. As shown here, binocular acuity generally increases with age, but levels off after about 12 months of age. When the visual acuity was measured in 5-month-old wild-type fish compared to age-matched LRP2 bug-eye fish that have asymmetric eye development, we found that the LRP2 bug-eye fish had significantly reduced acuity. When compared to the binocular acuity, binocular summation is observed similarly to human vision. As demonstrated in this graph, binocular acuity was generally 5-10% better than either right or left acuities measured independently. For some individual fish, the difference was a 25% improvement. After watching this video, you should have a good understanding of how to determine the visual acuity in adult zebrafish using the OKR.